One other thing I'd mention to you is that uh, uh, the sanctuary and the human body. So this is an area that I like to talk about uh, as well. Are, are you all familiar with the compartments of the body in terms of uh, the intravascular space, the extravascular space, and the intracellular space, and all that? So if you look at that, that's actually the sanctuary. It's actually, it's actually the sanctuary. The intravascular space is where the blood is, right? And that's the altar of sacrifice. Uh, and just like when the high priest would go from the altar of sacrifice to go into the holy place, he had to bathe in the laver, right? Mm -hmm. he, had to hit, he had to dip in the laver before he went in, and he had to dip in the laver after he came out. Well, after, uh, after the nutrients in the blood pass in the blood and diffuse, where do they go? They go from the, the intravascular space into the extracellular space. That's the fluid. That's the lymph. That's the water. That's the laver. And that's where all the nutrients go. And then what happens? The high priest then goes into a chamber with two compartments, a chamber within a chamber, in other words, correct? And that's exactly what happens in the cell. The nutrients go into a cell, which is a chamber within a chamber, the nucleus and the cytoplasm. And the, the three objects in the holy place were the table of showbread, the altar of incense, and the seven branch candlestick. And in the cytoplasm, we have the storage of glycogen, which is bread. We have the vacuoles, which burn things up and get rid of it, like the altar of incense. And we have the mitochondria. And what happens in the mitochondria? Beta oxidation. That's where we take fuels and burn them and create energy. That's exactly what the seven branch candlestick does. It actually takes olive oil and it burns and that's beta oxidation. Then finally, what happens? We go into the inner chamber of the inner chamber, which is the nucleus, which is the most holy place. And in the most holy place, what do we have? We have the two tablets of stone upon which is written the code by the finger of God. And if we were to violate that code, that would lead to disease and death. And in the most holy place of the cell is the nucleus upon which you have two strands of DNA upon which is written by the finger of God, the code of life. And if we damage that code, we come to disease and death. So we are literally made in the sanctuary. When God created us, when God created man, he already knew the plan of salvation. He already had the sanctuary in mind. And he literally created man after the blueprint of the plan of salvation that would save man.